So that win for the Reds has consolidated their position in the upper reaches of the Super Rugby standings. But in a couple of months' time, when the Lions arrive, they and the other Australian provinces will be without their international players. Hoping to be in that Australian squad is Reds winger Digby Ioane. He was just 16 when the Lions last toured the country. I remember the game in, in Melbourne. I was one of those kids who was um, selling those programs. It was amazing, but I didn't understand why it was so, so big. I didn't understand the whole thing, but all I remember was I was one of those um, kids that had to help out and sell programs on the streets. It would have been great if we can have, like, pick the best out of New Zealand, South Africa, then Australia, but it's just Australia, so it's going to be a tough task. But um, definitely, you know, it's going to be very entertaining and everyone is, is actually looking forward to this, um, this tournament. Born in Wellington to Samoan parents and the youngest of nine children, rugby was in Ioane's blood. Having relocated to Australia with his parents, he took the major decision to leave home and head for Brisbane. One of my nephews got a scholarship, Oli A, and that sort of sh showed me the pathway, you know, to, to come over to Queensland. And at that moment, I was playing league, so I was playing league on a Sunday and union on, on, a, on a Saturday. So uh, I got a scholarship at Gregory Terrace and um, packed my bags and left at the age of 16. The hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life, like, um, you got to sacrifice your, your family. So uh, I sort of struggled and I, you know, I was thinking of going back home, but um, my brother, my older brother came up and looked after me, so I was pretty, pretty happy with that. And from there, Ioane has never looked back. Capped for the Australian schoolboys in 2002, he went on to play for his country at every age grade level before making a try scoring debut for the Wallabies in 2007. All but three of his 34 caps have been on the wing. To be honest, I enjoy playing anywhere. As long as I get on the field, I'm, I'm happy. My benchmark was, a, was playing against Brian in Juice School, and um, he actually scored the, not the winning try, sort of like a winning try, but it was a draw. So for me to play someone like against Brian in Juice School, he actually swapped jerseys, which was pretty good. You know, playing outside centre, it's, it's really different playing on the wing. But for me, um, it depends on the team, like um, someone like Robbie Deans or Mackenzie, they rather um, let me play on the wing because it gives me that free licence to, to um, roam around and just look for work. The name Ioane means God is gracious and as a devout Roman Catholic, he's transformed his body into a life-depicting work of art. Body is a journey, and you know, and this is my life. Like um, all the tattoos on my body mean something, and it's all, it's all about me. So, the first one was a Chinese symbol, it means soul, spirit, and then um, end up getting more tattoos as the year went by. Like I got the the faith, and then Samoan girl, where. In my country, they have all these patterns, and I thought I'd be, some, you know, get something different, you know, to represent where my background is. And then I got the rosary, rosary bead with the with the angel and stuff. So um, I'm a big fan of tattoos. Mum doesn't like it, but she loves it because it's it's all part of a religion. I grew up as a Catholic boy. I didn't really know the meaning of going to church, but you know. Um, being raised up by mum and dad, you know, I have to go every Sunday and then you get to to learn the you know the the meaning of, of God and, and stuff. So, you know, I try to go every Sunday. And um without him I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. So he plays a, a big part of my life. 